Hello everyone once again. Welcome back to Formula for Speed. I'm your host Chad. This is my other lovely co-host, Babyface. Hello! Thank you for introducing yourself, Babyface. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, guys, we're back for another exciting race. Um, this week is Hungry Budapest. And me and Babyface were just talking about, like literally looking at the stats um, at this point in, in the um, season, Hamilton has a clear lead. Mercedes is running on, like, just on top of their game. Um, we were just joking about how they bluff about tires with Lewis on the radio. We don't believe it. We, It always seems to work out for them when they so-called are backs against the wall. I don't believe any of it. Me being a McLaren fan, low kiss, low hate, because we can't do what they do. Babyface, you know this. I mean, it's just perfect pit stops, perfect strategy. I mean... Arguably one of the best ran F1 teams I've seen, and I've been watching this since I was a kid. There's no argument about it. They are the best run team. Okay. Uh, arguably, I say that because I like when Sin and Pros were on. You know, but we'll leave that one either here or there. But anyway, we were uh, we were discussing we wanted to see some good racing. Um, I actually was explaining to her, you know, Two seasons ago, season ago, they, were, they used to call Max Crash Stappen. Long has he since moved on from that, but I've noticed he did not clash with Lewis Hamilton. He didn't. They didn't run into each other. And I said, you know, I really want to see them two go at it. I want to see, or if not him and Lewis, him and Leclerc even more. Um, maybe Boltas and Vettel. Just some good from the front runners. I want to see. Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari kind of get into it. We see a lot from the midfield. Those midfield guys go at it every week. But I actually wanted to see some front runners go at it. How do you feel about that, baby face? I agree. The midfield has been very, very exciting. Yes. Um, and I'm not mad at that because normally I'm used to seeing the action in the front and I kind of lose sight of what happens in the middle and in the back. And I love the fact that this season the middle has been so exciting with all the new blood that you have. You have George Russell, Alex Albon. Very good, by the way. Um, George yes. Russell. He's a beast. You know, like everybody that is in, in the middle, Lando Norris, they're, right. they're fantastic. They're almost a bit more exciting. Like when you have yeah. one of those clear cut races where in the front, you know, Hamilton or Verstappen or whoever is gone and there's a clear lead and you're like, well, the front's about to be boring, but the middle is on fire. Right. Um, I've really been grateful for that, but I agree. I would love to see some action in the front now, and I think this race really delivered that. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I was excited for this race um, again to see what my McLaren boys are going to do. I mean, I'm happy for Lando. He's a young kid. He's good. Uh, very promising. Um, George Russell is another one that I think years to come will be at the top, you know, at the top. Yeah. You know, these young guys will be at the top. So, baby face, without further ado, we don't want to keep you waiting. I'm sure you all are waiting, are excited to see our reaction to it. Um, and again, guys, drop a like for the videos. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this race. What were your predictions? I know a lot of people will say, of course, Mercedes. But realistically, I mean, who did you think were going to compete with them? Yeah. You know. I mean, are you going to just sit there and not shout out your t-shirt? Oh, morning race. Is that what we're doing? Hang on. Lift your hands. Let's see. Born and raised in the bug. Yes. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 412 all day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Got a shout out my hometown, Pittsburgh. You know, though I'm not a Steeler fan, I'm a 49er fan, but I'm going to shout out my Pittsburgh Steelers. I love my Pirates and I love my Penguins. Put that out there. Have you know. won anything and don't do that. Five decades and we're not, half. We're, we're not. We're not doing that. But we're, we're not we're gonna not, go there. Yeah, we're not gonna go there. Come on now. Don't <laughs> do you always. You know, Mercedes on top of her game. Now she's talking. That's how it goes, guys. That's you why know, Mercedes was always on top of the game. See, see. Let's start the race. <laughs> so, baby face, starting grid. Mm. Um, Max was on pole. Yes, he was. Max was on pole, Botas 2, Hamilton 3, Leclerc 4, mm -hmm. um, Vettel 5, yeah. Gasly 6. No surprise, the top 6. I mean... Not really, no. But my McLaren boy, 7 and 8, baby face. Come yeah. on now. Come, thank you. Give us a little bit. You know, 7 and 8. Grosjean was ninth. 
she sometimes gives Grosjean on a hard time. Raikkonen in tenth, Nico eleventh, Albon twelfth, Kvyat thirteenth, Magnussen fourteenth. Um, Haas has been running rough all year. Um, well, George said, Russell fifteenth was all wrong. Yeah, so was Ferraris. So you know the back of the pack: Lance Stroll eighteenth, Giovinazzi seventeenth, uh, Perez was sixteenth. I forgot to mention him. Twentieth was Kubica and uh, Ricardo. He took a, a penalty. Was twentieth. Um, so without further ado, guys, they're just gonna, we're just going to get into it. Yeah. You know, um, as you can see from the start of the race, Max had a good start. Hamilton and Bottas, guys, got into it from the start of the race. <laughs> I mean, they were three ride at one point, and of course, you know Hamilton. He he he's. He's competitive. So is Botas. Botas locked up like twice. Not sure what the lockup came from. Yeah. Um, he locked up twice. Ended up losing the place to Hamilton. Um, then he started getting into it with the Ferraris. And he lost some of his wing. He had wing damage. So that wasn't good. So, you know, after he lost the place to Hamilton, he then lost the place to Leclerc. Um, Vettel was on his back from there. So it was, you know, from the after that, the order was kind of the same. But... Yeah. What do you think about that front wing damage? What do you, why, why do you think he locked up? What happened? You know, I don't know why he locked up. I, I really don't know. I don't know if he overestimated um, his his racing line. I don't know if he... I, I don't know. I don't have an explanation for it. When I saw him lock up the first time, I was just yeah. like, okay, it happens. Everybody locks up. It, it locks up yeah. When I saw him lock up the second time, I was like, did he get a good night's sleep? <laughs> well, I will tell you, just watching Valtteri since he's been with Mercedes, if there is a lot of pressure around him from like Lewis and Vettel, there are times he'll either lock up or he may run wide. It's just some guys don't like pressure on him. They just don't. Some guys don't. I don't blame him. I mean, it's a lot, you know. So. True, but at the same token, something that I like about Bottas that I, that I shared with you is that you sh you can never discount Bottas. No, no. Don't ever discount him. He might not be the most dramatic racer as in his how he handles the car. Right. He might not be... Um, even the most attention grab grabbing or really the overly aggressive but if he's still on the grid never discount him never. because he will yeah. show like he is calculated cool yeah and he will make his way back up that's true and that's really something that i that's really the reason why i love Valtteri so much because he i mean he will come out of nowhere and you're like what where did you come from yeah he was i mean he was good for williams when he raced for them so mm -hmm. Um, shout out to Kimmy right now. We're on lap four, and Raikkonen, Raikkonen is running eighth. So it's um, my McLaren boy still doing it, babe. I mean, <laughs> babe, babe, six and seventh. Six and seventh. Those single digits are wonderful, aren't they? I just want you guys to notice a little shot she throws. Like she, you know, and you can't it's say a nothing. Legitimate question. It wasn't a question. You made a statement. No, that was I more asked of a, you a question. No, that, that was You're a force. I count that as a yeah. You know what you're doing. Well, I good. count that as a statement. It was a question, quote unquote, whatever. Yeah, it feels good to answer your question. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Testing. You know, you, you got you got people like her, guys. You know how it goes. I mean, your team's winning everything. Now they're you know. All right, cool. I'm not hating. I'm not hating at all. But you are. I'm not hating. Mm -mm. Congratulations to Mercedes. I'm not mad at him. Didn't you just, weren't you just complaining about the fact that McLaren couldn't have the strategy like Mercedes? Who does have the strategy like Mercedes? <laughs> I mean, it, they bluff with Hamilton every week. Every That's week. True. And you know it's the truth. That's true. And it's just by coincidence, it always works out when they don't think it is. I'm like, guys, that's no one's that lucky. It is called strategy. <laughs> it's like they play poker and they, you know. But it's some good racing so far. I mean, literally. Uh, Max is out and running. And that actually, that squabble with the two Mercedes guys, of course, you know, helped out Max in that regard because he was able to put a little cushion up there. Yeah, I mean, when mm -hmm. I first saw that, I was like, oh, Max should be able to do this. He should be gone. Yeah. Now, mind you, lap six, this is when Valtteri came in for the wing change. Yeah. This one looked much better than last week in Germany when it was raining. Definitely. For Hamilton. But they were ready for this one. So, you know. But other than that, I mean, I'm looking to see where Danny Rick is running. Uh, down in 18th. It's not been the... 
snap in the year for him with Renault. He shouldn't have gone to Renault. He should have went to McLaren. He should have gone anywhere but Renault. <sighs> I mean, I can't. Yeah, I wish he would have came to us. Um, and let Sainz stay at Renault. You know. So right now, if Verstappen wins this race, babyface, if he wins the race, um, he will be second. You mean in the drivers' championship? Mm -hmm. If Good. he wins, moving him past, you know. Both but, us. Yep. Yep. Good. That'll make it exciting. I want Vettel to have a good race, too. I want him to have a good race, too. Uh, right now, he's running fourth. Um, Ferrari's cars aren't dialed in at all. And I think you guys know. You can tell. Their cars aren't dialed in. Arrow. It has to be the Arrow. Because I say that because last year, Hamilton up. Now, he could have been bluffing then, too, but I don't think so. At 18, he looked. There were a couple of. After a couple of races, they asked him about Ferrari. He's like, I don't know what we're going to do. Because they, they were so fast. Arrow is right. Different team manager. Yeah. Different team boss. This year, the Arrow's not right. You could you could tell. I mean, coupled with the botched pit stops, I mean, they're just not doing themselves any favors. And then they're trying to figure out the two drivers who gets preference at times. It just seems like it's a lot going on over there at Ferrari. So, you know, I just want them to have a, I want Vettel to have a good race, should I say. Yeah, Grosjean's running solid, babyface. I'm surprised that Haas is running this solid on lap 10. I am, because their, their car has not been good this year at all either. Cyril for Renault. Guys, let me know. Do you th I personally think after next year, Cyril's out of there. Um, He's not delivered on the engine. Some kind of engine great upgrade he was bringing in. He sold Danny Rick on and his agent. I've not seen that. Maybe that's still in the works. So I think they're going to give Cyril maybe one or two more seasons and he's gone. Um, Because I've not seen, it, and it's kind of disheartening for them because you look at McLaren who's using their engine and we're, we're outperforming them this year by far. So, you know, and this is some good racing. Lot, like, lot 19, guys, the two, uh, two Red Bull, the B team. Yeah, going at it. Going at it. And that was clean. That was clean racing. Clean racing. Kvyat and uh, Albon. Clean racing. Toro. I've always liked Toro Rosso. I've always liked Toro Rosso too. Solid. Yeah, he always had some solid drivers. I like Toro Rosso. And that just lets you know what's to come for Red Bull. I mean, they got four young drivers at their disposal, so they're going to be good for a while. Um, baby face. Look at this. I uh, think so. Lap twenty. I think Verstappen's starting to lose some grip. So here's where it gets interesting, guys, because now the chess match starts. When do you go in for pit stops? What tires you put on? Here's where Mercedes excels. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I hate it because no other team, there's a lot of times that other teams don't get it right like that. And they're batting like, out of all these races, they may mess up like one or two, maybe. But for the most part, they're spot on. And I think, yeah, Verstappen's complaining about the grip. He's lo he's losing grip. And his medium tires are 22 laps old. But he's he's pushing them hard, as you guys can see. He's pushing them hard. So lap 24, uh, guys, he's pushing hard. Starting to lose some grip. But Hamilton, I think, just set the fastest lap. So it's um he's going faster in every sector. And Hamilton's a beast at managing tires. You guys know that. He's one of the best I've ever seen at managing tires. Uh, so, Babyface, what are your thoughts? Um, I think nobody is going to out-strategize Toto Wolf. <laughs> and Bono, yeah, whatever. Um, no, no, seriously. I, I, this is an interesting spot for me because Mercedes is my number one team. I will always be a Mercedes fan. But Red Bull is my second favorite team. I really like Horner and I like his team. I like Max. So it's kind of like I can't lose in this situation because I'm like, Max, if Max wins, I'm going to be happy. If Lewis him wins, I'm going to be happy. But now I'm just watching and I'm like, you know what? I, 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 don't, I don't think Mercedes is going to 
let this one go. When I heard him say, oh, my tires, and I hear Max right. kind of going, oh, he's about to pit, like, you know, his yeah. tires, are got, I'm like, I don't know about that, because how many times, you actually pointed this out to me. And Verstappen just pitted, lap 27. How many times have you said to me, Hamilton will complain about his tires? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with his tires. And there's nothing wrong. Well, not to say there's nothing wrong with his tires, but they're not as bad as he makes them sound. That's strategy. It is. And wasn't that an amazing pit stop? 2.6 seconds? It was like he was in and he was gone. Yeah, he hasn't. I don't think he's. Yeah, Verstappen stopped. So Mercedes is about to. And Red Bull's pit stops are like world class. I mean, you all know that. Yeah. They're, they're world class. So I'm looking at Hamilton. He's still out there. Uh. He manages his tire better than anybody on the track. I'll admit that he sure. he manages his tire better tires better than anybody. So um, Ferrari's about to come in, guys. I don't know about you, but I get nervous watching Ferrari's pit stops. I get nervous for them because their their pit stops are just not the neatest at times. Let's see. That's Leclerc. Ooh, two point three seconds. I stand correct. Well. At times, but that was a very that was good. Leclerc? That was Leclerc. Let's see if they can do that for battle. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm interested to see. All right, Lando's in. Problem with the back rear. Ah, uh, that wasn't a good one. Ah, uh, it wasn't a good pit stop. Hamilton's in. He was in, in uh, four seconds. Not, that's not good. So Hamilton didn't have the best pit stop, but but he was that hard? I think that's hard. I believe that's hard, guys. So I think he's going to the end of the race. That's his plan. Um, for as long as he can, at least. So I think Mercedes, uh, I think, I want to see how this plays out. This midfield is some good racing. It's some good racing. Lando just got past, and this is lap 34, guys. Lando just got past Magnuson on a good pass. I mean, it was it was a great, great overtake. Great overtake. So, um, so far I'm happy with, with what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments, guys. What did you think? What were your, when you saw Max first stop? Did you think that was the right call? I know you said he didn't have tires, but I was wondering in my head, I'm like, do you think he could stay out there a little longer or <sighs> I just wasn't sure. I was I wasn't sure personally. After I thought about it, I was kind of questioning, but then I was like, well, maybe that was the best call because you're you're this is Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. You never know how much tire life they really had because they don't and it's smart. I wouldn't let anyone know either. I mean, it's strategy, you know, so Hamilton's setting fastest lap times. Lap 35 of 70, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. So it was... It, he's putting pressure on Verstappen. And this is what we wanted to see. Babyface, this is what we wanted to see. It is. These two are going at it. So I'm sure every all of you were excited watching this race. These two were going at it relentlessly. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Who were you? Be honest. You saw those two going at it. Who did you want to win? It's tough because part of me was like, go Max, go. Like, how great would it be for this young kid to keep off the world champion, right? That's huge. At the same token, I'm like, Lewis, you're the champion. Go. <laughs> Well, Mercedes was, is your team. It was, I would it, was, it was back and forth, back and forth, because either way, I will admit, I would have been really happy. I would have been proud of Max for doing a great job. Right. But I, I can't lie. I was ecstatic when I saw Lewis pass him. Though there was a part of me that was like, oh, Max, that sucks. Like, you were pole. Yeah. You held on to the pole position for so long. But it was a great race either way for me to watch. Yeah, when, when, I, was, when I was watching this, I, you know, I realized... You know, right, like lap 38 and 70, I said, I think, especially watching Lewis get this close, I was like, I think, um, 
think Mercedes may have played the right cards in this one. But then again, I was like, you know, Lewis is, I mean, Max is a phenomenal driver, so it still can go either way. I wasn't and sure. And to your point, Max and Hamilton can battle and yeah, not and that hit. crash into they, each they other. They won't crash. They won't, I don't know if it's because they won't Max make any has a huge respect for Hamilton. I, I don't know if it's because he, he feels safe with Hamilton around knowing that yeah. He's not going to squeeze him to the point where he's going to have to do something erratic. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but well, Hamilton is known as a very safe driver, guys. You know that he he yeah. rarely makes mistakes, so guys would feel a little more comfortable around him because they know yeah. he's not. He wants to win clean. He doesn't want to win. Yeah, he doesn't want to win. Oh, you hit him though. He just wants to clear. No, I won. Well, you know, Crash Stappen has been rehabilitated. <laughs> Can't call him not no more. I mean, he's doing well. Carlos Sainz is running well. Fifth. Gasly, you know what I'm going to tell you something? Guys, at this point, I'm worried about Gasly. Because ideally, Max is running up front by himself all the time. And I was telling Babyface, I said... I like Gasly, but I, I told you when Gasly came they caught him to up too soon, yeah. Red Bull, I From Toro Rosso. Yeah, they I caught him up too I soon. I don't like that. I don't think he's right. He's good. I like the kid. I just didn't think he was ready. But he... No, no. I mean, personally, I would have rather seen Kvyat go up there and let Albon and Gasly stay on uh, the Toro Rosso team, the B team. But, oh, Vettel, 5.8 seconds. <laughs> so, that's time. such a contrast. Two record setting time for, for one, but then I guess it's hot. Okay, to be fair, you all know it was hot and hungry. They had a problem with the front right tire. So, 5.8, so that's For terrible. For a team that has so much funding and such a history in the sport, this should not constantly be your pit stop situation. This is not a, an isolated case. Defend it. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even, I can't say anything because it happens, it happens to them. Um, it's confusing. So right now, guys, we're like 41 of 70 and I'm enjoying the race so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm watching Max and Hamilton go at it. My McLaren boys are there. Uh, don't ask me that question. I like other drivers, but if it came down to them and McLaren, I'm picking McLaren all day. <laughs> I don't care. I'm selfish. All right, look, you call me what you want. I do have a very soft spot for Williams. So that's a tough. I I'll take that back. That's a tough. I like Will Williams. That lets you know how long I've been watching F1. When I was a kid, I always wanted to go for what I thought was the best team. So to me, it was McLaren and Williams. That's what I liked. Um, so, you know, I have a soft spot for them. Mercedes F1 team didn't come about till much later. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, as we know Formula One to be. Since I, when I was watching as a kid, they Our weren't around. generation, like since you and I have been alive, that's correct. They entered the sport in 1994 for us to see. But they won back in 54 and 55. Yeah. And then they left the sport. Actually, not 94. They came about in 2008. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. their sorry, engines sorry. were around. Their engines were around. So for me as a kid, I didn't grow up watching Mercedes. So I was like, oh, wow. They Listen, I grew up being told about Mercedes that when they were in the sport, they were amazing. They won. Yeah. Two, the two years they were there, they won. They won. The drivers and the, the I, I'm not sure if it was the constructors, but they won the drivers championship. Right. So I always held out hope that they would come back, but I was always a Mercedes fan, even when there wasn't a Mercedes team. So when Mercedes came back around, there was no question. I was Mind like, hey. you, Ferrari was salty when Mercedes pulled Nicky Lauda. They were, were salty. They, you know what? <sighs> But if they, if you go back, Nicky Lauda and Enzo didn't have the best relationship. They, I think they may have mended at the end, but they didn't have the best. So, oh, Enzo was a very difficult man, mind you. Lap forty nine, mm. Hamilton comes in, puts on medium tires. That is the move right there, and that's what I was wondering how the strategy would go. And it's two point four seconds. And you know, when I first saw that, I was confused. I was like, wait, what? And it took me a second, and I'm watching the pit stop, and then I'm like, oh no. Caught Red Bull sleeping. Oh no. 2.4 seconds. He's able to run on fresher tires mm -hmm. to the end of the race. 
hard. So and all the bluff, up. all the bluffing before that, all <laughs> we're not in the wrong. Co Guys, I hope you don't buy into that. Mercedes coincidentally always comes out in a perfect position. That means Unless that strategy. Unless you're a Ferrari fan, then please buy into it so you can be surprised. <laughs> I don't buy it. I, 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 I start telling her at the end of last season, I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? They're bluffing. Because yep. they always seem to be in a perfect position when he so-called has no more tires yep. and whatever. Smart, but I mean, and it works. It works. That was the move right there. Um, mind you, you know, a lot of 57 to 70. Where are your McLaren boys? Please tell us. Number five. Running fifth, Carlos Sainz. Let's know that. We're coming back. We're going to be good. Yes. We're coming back. I do feel for Danny Rick. Renault did him no justice this year. I thought they would at least give him something a little better to work with. I mean, I'm being honest. And then, that's what gets me mad because they're not even giving Hulkenberg a shot. Hit their best shot now. Hulkenberg messed up last week. Should have been on the podium. But how often does that happen? You know, it, it, they're just not... They're, the car's not good. Call, that's what I'm saying. Cyril has, Cyril has one or two more seasons and he's gone. Hamilton just said... Fastest lap, lap 61 to 70. He's coming. <laughs> they got guys Duh. caught him napping again. Duh. It's like a shark, yeah. It's like a shark. It's like Jaws, man. And low key, I do hate sometimes. I'm like, hey, why can't we get it like that? I mean, come on, man. We, <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get there one day. We'll get back there one day, should I say. And I think Max knows it. I mean, he, of course, he knows it. This week. He's like, oh, man, they, didn't, they caught us napping. Each lap, it's just a lot. The time is just getting cut. Yep. You know, lap 63, he's only 6.7 seconds. And he's going to catch him. Yep. Another two or three laps at this point. He's going to get him. He's going to get him two or three laps. It's, you know who's been quiet, but just running third and fourth? Battle. And Leclerc. Guys, this was one of the most quiet races for Ferrari in a while. Like, literally, they were sitting there the whole race from, like, the beginning, third and fourth. Ever since Botas had that issue with the wing, very quiet race for them. Yeah. I mean, I would be satisfied with third and fourth. And Gasly, again, disappeared. He's in six. He's just running... If you're Gasly, you cannot run behind. I, you know that's my team. You all know that's my team, McLaren. You can't keep running behind McLaren the whole race. You you can't do it. And you're you not Red Bull you, Core. You, you're you not Red Bull Core. You cannot be that far behind. Right, Max. From Max, because right. remember that's what happened with Van Dorn when he was racing with Alonso. Yeah. Alonso was all up front, and Van Dorn just couldn't keep up. It's going to be the same situation here. Well, it's harder. It was harder for Van Dorn because they said Van Dorn, Alonso was pretty much picking the car setups, and Van Dorn was like, "I'm not even comfortable with that. That's something different." This is just Pierre Gasly overthinking. He's a perfectionist, and he, he's just, he's just, he's not having fun. Yeah. In his shows, he's he's overthinking it. So, got him. So Hamilton caught him. Caught him. Caught him that easily. I mean, that is crazy. It was crazy when we saw it. I'm like, this is nuts. I, I, perfectly timed. And it's like they knew from the beginning. Here's what they'll probably have a pit stop. Oh, yeah. Make no mistake. This was not luck. Oh, no. This was not coincidence. No. This was not just like a, no. oh, wow, that was such a lucky hand. No. No. I think what Mercedes has figured out is they're kind of seeing how different team teams work, like Horner's team. They're like, we think they're going to do this, and or and or the thing could be they know their car, they know their drivers. They're like, Hamilton can stretch us out. We switch. They just it's all chess, it's all strategy, and they they got it. For Stappen had a 2.2 pit stop though. At this point, 68, he's just going for fastest lap. Yeah. He just wants to salvage the point. Get it. Yeah. Already got passed by Hamilton. It was crap. I couldn't believe. I was like, "Wow, the, the the strategy is phenomenal." Then you got the two Ferraris going at. Nah, they didn't really go at it. Um, Leclerc tried to defend too late. Vettel passed him. So, you know, Vettel's gonna get on the podium, which I was happy for Vettel. I was happy uh, for to see him on the podium. 
looks at the back half of the pack, strolls down there again. It, it you know what I know Esteban Alcon and, and uh, Perez didn't get along. I know that. I still don't think for Racing Point, the much better driver would have been, of course, Alcon. But yeah. Lance's dad owns a team, so you know his son's going to be employed. So I, I get it, but this was clutch again. They're like they're like Jordan in the finals, man. They just don't. You can't. I'm definitely enjoying this while we have it because it's going to be a while before we see something like this again. This is special. This is special. So, and Mercedes is winning without the controversy. I remember. Back in the early 2000s, a lot of people didn't like Ferrari because they felt like they were underhanded. Like they would just do some like shifty stuff sometimes, and people felt they were underhanded. I'm taking nothing away from Shumi, because to me that's the best of all time, him and Senna. But it's just his team was just underhanded. But Hamilton wins, man. It's just crazy. Uh, and guess who holds on for fifth, baby face? Guys! Science. Say it one more time. Science. My boys are coming back, watch. And we're using Renault engines and beating Renault. That even makes it even better. That just, you know what, what I hate to do this to, uh, to Danny Rick, but the thing is, you know what I like about it? Danny Rick's probably looking like I should have went to McLaren. Danny Rick should be thinking at this point, I should have never gone to Renault. Ever. His two choices were McLaren and Renault. That were, those were his two choices. If his choices were NASCAR and Renault, he should have done NASCAR before he done Don't Renault. do that. Don't, don't. Come on now. Now you're taking it too far. She's taking it too far. Don't do that. Don't do that. Fine. Um, but Max got driver of the day. Yep, but Hamilton pulls off another masterpiece. I'm a Mercedes. I mean, I'm worried about Gasly. Worried about Gasly. So guys, this was another fantastic race. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the race. The strategy move by Mercedes was phenomenal again. Um, let us know what you thought about that. What did you all think about Ferrari? That was a quiet race. I mean, literally. A horrible pit stop. I literally, it, it felt to me that it's not that they, it's not like they took the race off, but I feel like they kind of, when they realized they didn't have pace, they just, all right, well, we'll settle for third and fourth, which realistically I would have done, babyface. And I'm like, you know what? We can't catch the two front runners, right? right. We know we can out, we can beat Gasly, though. We can beat him. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just feel like they, it was a quiet race for him. It was. But Carlos. Fifth. McLaren boys are coming back. Don't worry about it. So, guys, again, thank, this is, thank you again for watching. This is Formula for Speed. Chad, my lovely co-host, Babyface. Any closing remarks? What do you think? Thoughts? Like, subscribe, share. <laughs> please, please. And again, guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.